Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to show you what you could expect from the Hilton Buenos Aires Presidential Suite. Uh, now this is a suite I booked. I booked on my own. Uh, the price was really, really good. Um, and we're talking about, I think the total was yeah, $320 uh, for the presidential suite. And yeah, I don't know if it was an error or just because it's right before the high season as far as travel as uh Buenos Aires or Argentina in general is uh it's kind of is really kind of reopened uh to tourists and well starting November 1st they did so at the time of this day uh was a little bit before that so yeah it really got a good price because I'm showing it's eleven hundred uh dollars plus per, uh, per night going forward uh, for the rest of the year so and when you come in you got a got a kitchen area here uh, where you do have some utensils you can actually cook yeah I guess we really didn't think about that <laughs> but uh, we probably should have thought it out better to have some friends over to entertain or have them come over you know to to entertain and have some guests but still a nice experience nonetheless I've stayed at this hotel a lot in the past uh, when I was uh, uh, traveling to Buenos Aires, but um, now as having residents here, it's yeah, this is really a staycation sort of situation. But yeah, I was never upgraded to the presidential suite. Uh, I, I was upgraded before to suites, executive suites in the past, but um, yeah, pl plenty of space here. So you got the living room, well, I guess more of the dining room area, excuse me. Here with plenty of space to eat. Here you've got the living room area. Got a table there. You've got some um, books inside these cabinets. It's kind of cool actually. Yeah, I wish I would have um, yeah, checked some of those out, but didn't really have the time to. But cool nonetheless. There you got a TV here the desk and you also um you've got some more books down there if you choose to read that and you do have a work desk there which is good and again plenty of space plenty of living area space to sit again have some guests if you if you choose to um but i guess i'll briefly kind of talk about the diamond uh i guess treatment of uh guests here i, I do have hilton diamond status and um as far as that goes, again, I can't say much on the upgrade because this was a suite that I, I just outright purchased. But uh, in the past, like I say, it's been good. Uh, want some things that are different as of uh, the filming of this video, the executive lounge was not open. So as far as uh, br breakfast goes, breakfast was served in the restaurant downstairs, downstairs uh, El Faro. And as far as the happy hour goes, as far as drinks and finger foods, uh, that's substituted by a voucher that they give you for um, two glasses of wine, um, either that or a selection of two local beers or two non-alcoholic drinks and one tapa of your choice. Now that actually goes for both people in the room. So if you have two guests, that would be, they would both have that um, selection uh, from your diamond status. So something to keep in mind if you're um, going to be in Buenos Aires and staying at the Hilton as a diamond member. So that was what was currently on offer. I didn't use the fitness center, so I couldn't tell you. I really didn't go down there. i uh, been there in the past, but I didn't check it out this time. So I don't have a video of it, unfortunately. Uh, but, but again, the, um, that's kind of what you're going to get as far as diamond treatment, uh, as, you know, with the, the wine, option or non-alcoholic drinks in the top of your choice and that's actually in the bar downstairs i think it's bar uh, alberto is downstairs you can't miss it when you're coming in the hotel and again the restaurant the breakfast is served in uh, el faro which is a buffet style uh re um serving so they have the uh, the buffet option and they can make some eggs for you uh, cook to order how you would like them as well. So that's an option. Um, but this property is in uh, Puerto Madero, which is really the touristic area 
you know, say the most touristic area in uh, Buenos Aires. So you're within walking distance of a lot of sites. Um, the Pink House, Casa Rosada. Um, you're not far from, uh, you got uh, Plaza de Mayo. You've got the Obelisk, which isn't too far. I mean, it's walkable, but they also do have a stop. Um, there's, I know there's a yellow tour bus for Buenos Aires where you can, it's got different stops across the city that you can take the bus to go see uh, different different uh, points of interest with that. So there's a stop like right by the uh, this hotel at the corner uh, from what I remember. Uh, as far as if that, and that bus is running too. So yeah, I'll try to leave a link in the description for that, that uh, tour if you're interested in doing that. Because uh, that is a good way to see some major things within the city without, I guess, going at them on your own. So they've got the Verbena toiletries there. First I've seen of that. Don't know if that's a local um, Argentinian brand of uh, toiletries, but yeah, it may be because like I said, it's not the standard you see in a lot of the hotels just globally. So it's good that they do locally source some of these things that uh, different hotels give you give you something different, different flavor of uh, yeah, lotion or soap, something something that I do appreciate because some of those soaps and uh, lotions, yeah, I do. Yeah, it makes you want to actually purchase them for yourself. <laughs> to be quite honest, and some of them are really good. There, you, it's the second bedroom here. This is more of the master bedroom. You got the safe. In here, plenty of drawer, sp drawer space, closet space. So you can see in there, so yeah, you, you won't run short of space here. And what's nice about this suite, they it's got a balcony as well. So the balcony overlooks actually the pool area. And so they do have a pool here, which was open. It was a little chilly, uh, a little chilly for my taste to be out at the pool, but because it was windy during our stage. You can see the pool to the left. <clears throat> huge, uh, huge patio. So you've got a table down here to sit and lounge. Again, I'll say this again. If you ever plan on doing this, yeah, try to get some guests <laughs> here because yeah, it'd be a much better use of it, of the space there. So you can see the view there. If you look out over uh, the river, there's Puerto Madero, and La Puente de Mujeres. The woman's bridge is over there. So really excellent views from the suite. Um, yeah, probably the best views in the house, which can't be beat because this may actually be the only room, I believe, that has a balcony in the hotel, this presidential suite, which is on the top floor, um, the ninth floor of the hotel. So there's the view there. And I'm going to take a look here at the uh, voucher that we got just so you can see that as far as what you what they do offer, and again, two glasses of wine, the selection of two local beers or two non-alcoholic drinks, and one tap of your choice. But again, if you have two guests registered, both of you will get that. Here's uh, Alberto's bar, and this is downstairs in the lobby. So uh, that was the Hilton Buenos Aires Presidential Suite. Uh, I will leave you with the breakfast spread. And as always, I appreciate you watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Share this with a friend and I look forward to catching you next time. Thank you.